today I'm going to give away a free t-shirt, bring you a comic hero throwdown showdown fight, bring you comics news, and reveal the books I bought this week. How y'all doing? I'm Vic, and you are watching a comic hero show. Now kick that intro! of the U.S. military who are still with us today. And right now, I want to thank my cousins Lavert and Pat Washington from Minden, Louisiana for their tour of duty during Operation Desert Storm. And, and also want to thank all other men and women that have served in uh, any tours of duty who are still with us today. Um, it doesn't matter who you are. Thank you. Now, I know that Veterans Day, and as you're watching this, Veterans Day has come and gone. I understand that. But I believe we shouldn't have to set a day to honor these men, these men and women. We should do we should do so every day. I mean, they have they have served tours of duty, they have fought for our country, and they're here to tell about it. That should be something that should be celebrated every day. And a lot of times we have this "What have you done for me lately?" Um, attitude towards our vets. I'm sorry folks, but that only applies to athletes and sports. It does not apply to the men and women that have served this country. They have fought for this country. They have served this country. They're here to tell about it. I mean, you don't know what they're going through. You don't know what they've seen. You know what, I I mean, it's stuff that should never be said. It, it should, it's just, really, it's stuff that should never be thought. And I found out that um, when a lot of these soldiers had come back from the Vietnam War, folks had called them all kinds of names. And the worst one was baby killers. No, that's far from the truth. That's far from the truth. And we, we need to show a lot of, we, not, we need to show all these men and women the respect that they deserve. I mean, if you, if, if you see a vet, if you know a vet, you know, never miss out on a chance to be good to you. You know what, I always go by the principle of never missing out on, on an opportunity to be good to anyone. Um, if you see a veteran, you know, help them out. You know, help them with whatever they need help with. Take them out to dinner or lunch or even breakfast. Just be good to them. All right, this is a Veterans Day comic here on Tina. Inside Speech Bubble, you have the Digi Camo. And then the CH is, is silver. Now the reason it's silver is because that represents all the men and women that have served this country who are still with us today. And right here, where uh, where a service uh, man or woman's uh, last name is, I have my hashtag, which is um, which B S B B B A H, which is which stands for Be Safe, Be Blessed, Be a Hero, which happens to be my party words. That's actually one of my hashtags. The uh, main hashtag is I am the comic hero. Uh, and then right here you have this awareness ribbon uh, in digi camo, and then you, and then here on the um, left sleeve you have the American flag. And I did it a little differently because not every uh, not everyone that has ever served his country is um, black has ever been black and white. I mean there have been folks of different different ethnicities, you know, different walks of life, and and everyone that has ever served his country needs to be honored period. And if you would like your very own um, Veterans Day Comic Hero tee, you can find them on my website, IamTheComicHero.com for $17. Alright, it's time to give away a free t-shirt! Alright, 
All right, last week's episode, I asked, which member of the X-Men originally debuted as a villain of the Avengers? Well, the correct answer is Rogue. And 11 people have answered correctly, and because they've answered correctly, the name for the is drawing for a free tee. And that drawing takes place right now. So the winner of the free tee for this week's episode of the show is... Martin Perez Jr. from Pineville, Louisiana. So congratulations, Martin. You win yourself a free comic hero tee. All right, here's the question for next week's episode, and this is a DC question. Which DC character possesses the willpower to resist a Black Lantern power ring? All right, now here are the hints. The first hint is that this character made his debut in More Fun Comics number 73 in 1941 and was created by um, Mort Weisinger and George Papp. All right, the second hint is that this character, um, his base of operations is in the fictitious town of Star City. And then the third and final hint, and this is a dead giveaway, especially if you watch TV. This character has appeared on a small screen and has been played by both Justin Hartley and Stephen Amell. Everyone who answers correctly will be in the drawing for a free tea on next week's episode of the show. All right, now the comic character throughout our show on fight is usually reserved for uh, viewers to make requests, but with, with it being Veterans Day, I want to come out with one that features two veterans, and, and both of them have taken, taken on the mail of Captain America. Um, one has taken up the mantle very valiantly, the other, well, not so much. Representing Marvel, we have the Winter Soldier. And also representing Marvel, we have U.S. Agent. These two are going to duke it out in a segment I like to call... The, the Comic, Comic Hero, Hero Throwdown Showdown. Welcome to the Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown. Today, it's the Winter Soldier versus U.S. Agent. The Winter Soldier is a master hand-to-hand -hand combatant and martial artist, skilled marksman, skilled in the use of military weapons and throwing knives, and is a skilled assassin and spy. With his cybernetic left arm, he possesses superhuman strength, enhanced reaction time, energy projection, EMP discharger, and holographic projector. As a result of taking the Infinity Formula, he possesses enhanced vitality, strength, speed, agility, reflexes, stamina, and resiliency to injury. U.S. Agent is an exceptional hand-to-hand -hand combatant, highly trained acrobat and gymnast who possesses superhuman strength, agility, reflexes, reactions and endurance, peak level speed, dexterity, coordination, and balance, and the use of a nearly indestructible shield and firearms. Who will win? This fight will start off with and primarily be hand-to-hand -hand combat. The two would be on par with each other step by step. After minutes of punches and kicks, weapons are suddenly drawn by both. The Winter Soldier would charge at US Agent with a knife but the latter would either duck, dodge, or use his shield to avoid being stabbed. U.S. Agent would then return with a low blow and attempt to cut off the Winter Soldier's cybernetic left arm with his shield, but someone out of nowhere grabs U.S. Agent's shield and yells, SOLDIERS! It's none other than a genuine article, Captain America, Steve Rogers. He then concludes, Need I remind you two that our fight is with actual bad guys and not ourselves? Come on, I'll buy you guys a beer. And that concludes this fight on the Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown. All right, well, I hope y'all enjoyed that fight, and I'll have another one for next week. Now it's time for Comically Speaking, so without further ado, let's talk comics! two things we're going to talk about in this segment of Comically Speaking, and here's the first. Now, Marvel recently announced that there's going to be a brand new X-Men series coming in, in February called Secret X-Men. Uh, the first issue comes out on February 9th, and it's going to be written by Teeny Howard with art by Francisco Mobili and cover art by Lionel Francis Yu. Now, you, Lionel Francis Yu, rather, not you, <laughs> um, 
Now, Lionel Francis Yu is no stranger by any stretch of the imagination when it comes to the X-Men. Um, he has penciled and done cover art from the X-Men before, and um, I can't wait to, um, to read this book. Now, Howard has um, most recently written um, a five-issue series uh, called Fallen Angels, which was also an X-Men series that stars Psylocke. And um, she kind of blew me away in those five issues. I mean, it, now, um, it got canceled after five issues, but that had to have been the, the best five-issue monthly series I have ever read. Um, now, you're probably wondering who is going to be on this team. Well, this is going to consist of... Um, okay, first off, to tell, to tell this, I would have to go back to... Um, when Marvel gave readers the um, the opportunity to vote on who would be on the flagship X-Men book. It, it features uh, characters that that um, that were heavily voted on but didn't make the cut. And and those um, and, and, th and those characters are Strong Guy, Forge, Tempo, Boom Boom, Marrow, Armor, Cannonball, Sunspot and Banshee. You know what? One thing about the X Men is, it, you know, the X Men have always been a melting pot of of characters because they came from different walks of life in different countries. But this really takes the cake, folks. I mean, and not only that, but they're like different generations. I mean, you have Banshee that's been around since the '70s, and then you've had Cannonball and Sunspot that were part of the New Mutants team back. Back in 1983, then you have Forge, who is like the ultimate Mister Fix It, and then Strong Guy, who is a beloved character in the pages of X Force, and then later became a member of the uh, the fabled X Factor series that that happened in the early 2000s. Um, I think this is going to be a a, a great book. Now the team's mission will revolve around um, the current. Empress of the Shi'ar Empire, Zandra. Now, Zandra has ties to um, to the X-Men because of her father. Her father is Professor X. She's the daughter of Professor X and the former uh, Empress of the Shi'ar Empire, Lalandra. And um, and I think the series is also going to have ties with the current uh, miniseries that's going on in Marvel called Inferno. Um, really looking forward to this. Really looking forward to this, and 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 because of the story arc, and and, and because of all the characters, especially uh, two in particular, I'm talking about Cannonball and Sunspot. Cannonball and Sunspot to me are pretty much the Hawkeye and Honeycut of comics. I know that's a a mash. Um, I kind of threw in a little mash there, but that's only because. Um, but anyway, I mean the the chemistry between. Cannonball and Sunspot in any series that they've ever been has been has been nothing but pure gold. I mean, if you ever watched the old MASH TV show, you know exactly how Hawkeye and Honeycutt were uh, when, when they were in scenes together, and um, that pretty much that that truth and this pretty much holds true for both Cannonball and Sunspot. So, really looking forward to this. Uh, Secret X Men number one comes out February of next year. All right, now the second thing is that. Marvel is introducing a brand new villain to the Spider-Man Rose Gallery called the Goblin Queen. Now, this Goblin Queen is is different from the Goblin Queen, uh, whose real name, of course, is Malin Pryor. Of course, Malin Pryor is Cable's mom and is also Jean Grey's clone. This is a different Goblin Queen. Now, um, this this villain will appear in the pages of the Amazing Spider-Man beginning in February. And the identity of the Goblin Queen, well, Marvel's been very tight-lipped about it. Um, one thing about Marvel, when it comes to villains like this, um, it's going to be quite a surprise. It may be someone that's, it may be a character that's already been, been established in the Marvel Universe. Then again, it might be a brand new character. But, you know, when it, when it comes to villains uh, making their first appearance and Marvel being tight-lipped about the identity, they never disappoint and I honestly can't wait to read this because you know one thing about Spider-Man especially Peter Parker he I tell you that character he's been around for almost 60 years and 
I don't think I've ever known a superhero who's ever been put through the ringer as much as he has. And it, and it started off, and I mean, it, and the and the way that it's been going, I mean, it's it's almost like he's always experienced adversity. I mean, he's experienced a lot of deaths. I mean, first his uncle Ben Parker, and then several others. Oh, and who could ever forget, you know, Gwen Stacy's death back in 1973. Um, we're looking forward to this. I mean, Spider Man is one of my favorite characters in comics, and I think every good character deserves a, 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 a good villain or a diabolical villain. All right, that's it for Comically Speaking. Let's get to the comics of art this week. Comic books I bought this week. <laughs> Alright, first up is Action Comics number 1036. The Amazing Spider Man number 77. The Amazing Spider-Man number 78. Aquaman the Becoming number 2. Batman number 116. Detective Comics number 1044. Excalibur number 25. Hellions number 17. Wait a minute. That was eight, right? And I need... I'll be right back. shirt this is the um this is the long awaited 11,000 comics comic hero tea and um and everyone who has liked or left a comment on social media who is like this um that's like the well the picture of the garment bag which this shirt was inside I have some I have a treat for y'all a little later on but for right now I'm not done all right next up is Inferno number two. 
The Joker number nine. Marauders number twenty five. Miles Morales, Spider Man number 32. Really excited about this book. Nubia and the Amazons number one. Radiant Black number nine. Robin number seven. Superman and the Authority number four. Sword number nine. Teen Titans Academy number seven. Titans United, number three. Venom, number one. Wolverine number 17. Wonder Girl number 4. Wonder Woman number 781. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed this week's episode. And here's a question again for a free tea for next week's episode of show. Which DC character possesses the willpower to resist a Black Lantern power ring? Now here are the hints again. The first hint is that this character made his debut in, Mon in More Fun Comics number 73 in 1941 and was created by Mort Weisinger and George Papp. The second hint is that this character's base of operations is the fictitious DC city called Star City. And then the third and final hint, this is a dead giveaway. This character has appeared on a small screen and has been played by both Justin Hartley and Stephen Amell. Everyone who answers correctly will be entered in a drawing for a free tea on next week's episode of the show. And congratulations to Martin Perez Jr. from Pineville, Louisiana, who won a free tea on this week's episode. All right, now, when I, you know, I do this every year when I get to the thousand milestone, but I, um, I'll, I'll make the shirt and then I'll put it in a garment bag and then I'll ask y'all or try to get y'all to like, love, or leave a positive comment. Well, um, a lot of y'all have done it. I don't. I don't know exactly how many of y'all have done it, but it, it, it wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise me if it was close to um, close to eighty of y'all. But um, y'all are about to win a shirt just like this one, and I am going to draw eleven names. All right. 
The first person to win 11,000 comics comic girl T is... Bonnie Ferguson from Athens, Louisiana. So congratulations, Bonnie. You win yourself a, a 11,000 comics comic girl T. All right, one down and 10 to go. All right, and the next person who wins an 11,000 Comics Comic Hero Key is... Ashley King from Bro Bridge, Louisiana. So congratulations, Ashley. You win yourself an 11,000 Comics Comic Hero Key. All right, nine, two down and nine to go. And the next person who wins an 11,000 Comics Comic Hero Key is... from Shreveport, Louisiana. So congratulations, Caleb. You win yourself at 11,000 Comics Comic Hero T. All right. Three down and eight to go. The next person who wins an 11,000 Comics Comic Hero T is... Christy Allen from Minden, Louisiana. So congratulations, Christy. You win yourself at 11,000 Comics Comic Hero T. All right. Four down and seven to go. All right, the next person who wins an 11,000 Comics Comic Hero T is... Brittany Patrick from Point, Louisiana. So congratulations, Brittany. You win yourself an 11,000 Comics Comic Hero T. All right, five down and six to go. And the next person who wins an 11,000 Comics Comic Hero T is... Josh Nicholson from Dorito, Louisiana. So congratulations, Josh. You win yourself an 11,000 Comics Comic Hero T. All right, uh, six down and five to go. And the next person who wins an 11,000 Comics Comic Hero T is... Krista Fouquet from Shreveport, Louisiana. So congratulations, Krista. You win yourself an 11,000 Comics Comic Hero T. All right, seven down and four to go. The next person who wins an 11,000 Comics Comic Hero T is... Fabian Singleton from Monroe, Louisiana. So congratulations, Fabian. You win yourself an 11,000 Comics Comic Hero T. All right, that is eight. So eight down and three to go. And the next person who wins an 11,000 Comics Comic Hero T is... James Gunter from West Monroe, Louisiana. So congratulations, James. You win yourself an 11,000 Comics Comic Hero T. All right. Nine, nine down and two to go. So the next person who wins an 11,000 Comics Comic Hero T is... Renee Bates from Georgetown, Louisiana. So congratulations, Renee. You win yourself an 11,000 Comics Comic Hero T. All right, last one. And the last person who wins an 11,000 Comics Comic Hero T is, and I'm reaching down on the bag for this one. James Red Hodge from Monroe, Louisiana. So congratulations, Red. You win yourself an 11,000 Comics Comic Hero T. All right, there we go. Now, honestly, I wish I can give a shirt to everyone. Everyone who has liked, loved, or have commented. I, boy, you know what? I say this every time I reach the um, the thousand mark, but you know what? I read some good books. I read some bad ones. But one thing I'll never regret is this hobby. And for everyone that that if you would like your very own comic hero, your, your 11,000 comics comic hero tee, and I didn't draw your name, they're on my website, IamTheComicHero.com for $20. All right, now here's the road ahead for the show. Now, on next week's episode, I'm going to celebrate Thanksgiving. Now, I'm doing so a little early because I, I really don't want to celebrate Thanksgiving um, the day after. Although most folks will probably still pick it out or, or going on Black Friday sales or, or whatever. 
But you know, I, I just want to take this time to, I just want to take that time to celebrate because once Thanksgiving rolls around, um, I mean, I just want something, I, I mean, here, here's the thing, I just want something to, um, I want y'all to, you know, to, I don't want to celebrate Thanksgiving because, so therefore, only I, therefore, not only so I can enjoy it, you can enjoy it as well. All right, and then episode 380, I'm so, I'm raising awareness of diabetes. I personally know some folks that, that, that are diabetic and, um, you know, life isn't always that simple for them. And, you know, I just want to show some love to them. Now, in the past, whenever December gets here, I usually do, oh, three or four Christmas episodes. But I also know that it, that there are some uh, awarenesses that, that need to be raised awareness of in, in the month of December. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to allow y'all the opportunity of letting me know if there is an awareness that needs to be raised, that needs to be raised, about cause that needs to be raised, that, that needs uh, awareness in the month of December. And uh, for doing so, you will get a free comic book from me. You know what? I, 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 I love giving. I, I, I love I, I love giving. I, I, I love giving a whole heck of a lot better than love receiving. Receiving is great, but giving is the ultimate reward. And and we should always do that. And um, first off, I, and and don't and 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 um, the same thing you know for our veterans. Give give to our veterans. Be good to them. There's something uh, you can, if there's something you can do for them, go ahead and do it. And to all the uh, U.S. veterans there, thank y'all so much for your services. Uh, your your services uh, will never ever be on deaf ears. Or, or, on, or on blind eyes to anyone. We love you. And we thank you. All right, I'm Victor Nolly on the comic here. I'll see you next week for episode 379. So until then, be safe, be blessed, be a hero, and thank you, Vets.